Hey everybody, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be the hardest video for me to get through without laughing. Um, and it's probably best that it's gonna be one of towards the last videos because Miss Stigati here made this extremely hard to set up. She was insistent that she have natural lighting and everything. She was even harder than Jane and Ava, so she'll tell you later. I have standards. She does. <laughs> I don't know why she married me then, but... So, I wanted to show you, I told you in the last video, the picture of when I tried to dye my hair blonde, and I didn't have that great of a picture, but I found a much better one, because it's so horrible. It's really bad. <laughs> it is, so. Not a good look. So, that's my 16-year-old Like, self. that's all your awkward years so, captured. Well, you married it, so. I, I married this. <laughs> I married this. So... We wanted to start off, and I've told you many stories about um, how my opinion and my point of view for when I met Kate and how we started dating. So I wanted Kate to tell you her process, <laughs> her thoughts going through her mind of some, some of the same stories that I told you. So the very first one we're going to talk about is that first date when I met Kate, and I was like, oh yeah, I think she's kind of pretty. Um, Kate, what is your memory of that? Like night? our very first time we met? Uh, I don't know. Is that the graffiti? The, yeah, the dance. I really wish I could forget this, but that's okay. All right, go ahead. Um, the first time I met Dave was this this overwhelming dance at our college where they make you meet everybody in your freshman class and you sign everybody's T-shirt and it's supposed to be some great keepsake and best friendships are supposed to be made, you know, after meeting someone for fifteen minutes. And I met Dave and he used a cheesy pickup line or he. <laughs> Um, I don't know how to put that in first grade terms, but I walked away from him going, oh Lord, this place has to be big enough that I will never meet this man again. And then my maiden name is right above Degatti. So every single freshman activity, we were together Yeah. for everything. Every We were always right next to each other in the student directory, like everything. We were everything, like <laughs> whether we wanted to be or not. Everything. I tried to let her think I was cool, and she did not think I was cool. No. Did not, did not work. I'm still not cool. No. Um, I feel like we need more light. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Um, and then the next story I told you guys about, and when I got really mad when I saw her sitting with Randy, and. I know you don't even know my point of view, oh. but that's when I was really jealous, and so I told my kids that. And so I caught her off guard on this one. I never do. <laughs> um, and so that's when I knew I really liked her. But can you react when I told you how you felt well, like when I really liked you? When you, when you thought that I wanted to like date you, what your reaction was? Oh, I guess. <laughs> I think that was it. Uh, I liked, I mean, obviously I liked you enough to date you and marry you. All right. Well, I'm going to tell but you guys I don't remember, the like... truth again. All right. <laughs> Because Kate doesn't remember, okay. or she's not forthcoming. Could be both. She said to me, she's like, Dave, all these people are going to think we're dating when they see us walking around together, and I just don't want that to happen. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, I thought so. I thought <laughs> so. So at least she blocked that memory out. Um, I didn't know. So we dated for like f almost through four college. years. Through college. Yeah. And... She lived in Ohio, and I lived in New Jersey, so it was a long time apart. And so we decided that when we were going to get married, I had a friend who lived in Maryland, so I would live with him. And she said, well, if you're really serious about getting married, you'll go move to Maryland. And so I didn't want to move to New Jersey. Yeah. And he didn't want to move to Ohio. Some of you watching probably are like, want. don't. Why would you ever want to move to New Jersey? It's the best state, but it's expensive. It's got, it, there's nice shopping. There's um, no tax. So I moved to Maryland. So she needed to find a place to live with one of her friends. She dumped me. She did dump she you. She did. She like had me quit my job and find a place to live because she wanted a roommate and then decided she didn't want a roommate anymore. Yeah. But thankfully she had a friend who needed a roommate. And that that woman turned out to be a very good friend of mine. Yep. So after her being there for like, I don't know, less than a month, I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. A couple weeks. Oh, a couple weeks? Well, it, apparently. Yeah. It, apparently was, it wasn't even a full weekend. I make up my mind quickly, apparently. I decided that I would ask her to marry me. And 
I love this story. You can tell by Kate's face she does not. But can you tell uh, my class how your opinion, or what you were thinking when I asked you to marry me? Um, you kept saying you weren't going to ask me, and I kept saying, "Well, I'm going to break up with you." Of course, I wanted to be a surprise. Um, so because why would I be wasting my time if you didn't want to marry me? It made sense back and then. It did not make sense. <laughs> <laughs> and I had. I had just moved to Maryland, like, a, within the prior week, and we went to um, some sort of college alumni gathering in Washington, D.C., and I got back super late at night, and he shows up at my my dorm, or not my dorm, because I wasn't in college, apartment. Um, my apartment, and I really want him to go home because I'm tired, and I just, I didn't even know my new roommate all that well, and... He's like talking about he lost something. He's, I just, lost my keys. It wasn't a very well thought out plan. No, because I was. You drove. I know. Hey, it that was makes a dumb plan. No play. sense. You're lucky I was so tired. <laughs> and so I was just like, "What are you talking about? Go. What? You, like, fine. Look for whatever you were looking for when you helped me move, and then please go, because I'm tired. And you slipped a ring on my finger, and I was like, I think I found it. Yep. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? And then I had kept asking him if he was serious because he had told me he wasn't going to ask. So there you go. Yep. See, she makes me out to be the bad guy on that one. And then when I hear her telling it, it actually does make it seem like I'm the bad guy on that one. So I guess dads, you probably have a much better proposing story than I do. So don't make me look bad when you tell your kids those stories, okay? Um... What she's not telling you, though, is she called, like, three people and was like, Yeah, I'm finally going to engage. And I didn't she, say I'm finally engaged. It was like that. But she no. didn't even say yes until she talked with her mom. Well, my mom asked me if I had it. Yeah. And I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I thought it was assumed by the fact I was calling people to tell them that we were getting married. Yeah, well. I didn't call, like, three people. I called two. Well, that's. My parents. That's two more than before she said yes to me, so. Leave me in suspense. Yeah. So this next picture is for all you Blue Jacket fans, especially Carter H. I hope at this point in time you're like really embarrassed, Carter, because we found this picture where we went to the Rangers game when we were engaged up in New York, which is a much classier stadium than Columbus Arena. It really is. But we can both be united in our hatred for Philadelphia, so that's good. But just look at it one more time. Rangers. That was so cold. Rangers! What's up? Is that you? No, your sister bought me that shirt. She was embarrassed. I, we're not talking about fashion. Kate. I wasn't wearing anything Rangers, and they were embarrassed to be Yeah, we were. It, oh my gosh, yeah. So she bought seriously. me a shirt to wear at the game. No, they were giving them away. Was it? I yeah. thought she had to pay like five bucks for it. I don't know. Either way, she's a Rangers fan now. That's not really true. Okay. I don't care at all. Um... So, as you can see, we, f we finally got married. She stuck with me forever. Yep. Um, and so... Ooh, that's dusty. Whatever. We do clean our house, guys, I swear. This was us on our wedding day. In a couple weeks, we'll be married for almost 13 years. No, we are currently married for almost Whatever. 13 years. She has better <laughs> grammar than me, too. All right. So... And this was a picture of us on our honeymoon. So, Kate, do you want to tell them your favorite memory from our honeymoon? I know mine. Do you want me to go first? Sure. She's looking remember. at me like, what are you going to tell these kids? <laughs> there was one night where she fell asleep early, and I got to stay up watching a great show called Man vs. Wild for like five mm -hmm. hours. You I was up to like three show. in the morning. It was a really good show, and then I found out it was fake, so... I don't know if any of you parents have watched that show, um, but it was a really good show until its allure was ruined for me with reality. So, do you have any favorite memories? Mm, I don't know. I think I just enjoyed being on vacation with you. And then we went to Universal Studios and stayed at a really, really fancy hotel. Yeah. And I really liked that. That was pre-kids. Yes, Seriously. I really like the fancy hotel, and I also really like roller coasters, so it was like the best of both worlds. And I got married to you, so that was really nice. Notice she listed that last. Last, guys. I come after roller coasters and fancy hotels, so that's it's okay. It's a great hotel. I'd love to go back. 
Granted, I mentioned man versus wild and didn't say I like spending time with her, so we'll see how that goes, right? Um, so you've all seen pictures of our kids hanging up in our classroom, but we wanted to show you the pictures of when they were babies because we have cool little terms that we describe them as. Our first one, before we had any people children, this was Wiggles. She was our very first hamster, and she constantly chewed at the bars to try and escape. Um, do you have a favorite Wiggles memory? We used to put her in one of those balls, and she'd run around, and she almost got stuck behind the toilet once. I remember that. That was funny. My favorite Wiggles memory is we discovered that hamsters like spiders, and so I put a spider on her in her cage once with a little pair of tweezers, and she like did like this battle like yeah, screech. Was it was intense. awesome, and she would wait for us to feed her spiders. I bought new tweezers. Yeah, so those, she could those do became that. the spider tweezers. They were really cool. We'd look for them outside and then feed them to her. Yeah, so she was vicious. She seemed to like it. She was so cute and yet, like, horrible, mean to the yeah. insects. And but she's been long gone. So our next real child, this is Jane, when she was a few months old. We like this picture because she looks like, what, a bowl of jelly? She was so. just... That was on our bathroom rug. Yeah, that was in Maryland. Yep. So she didn't look too pleased. But she is almost 10 now. Mm -hmm. And this one here is Ava. Ava has always wanted people to just leave her alone mm, to no, do she what wants, she wants. Ava wants what Ava wants. That's true. Like and Ava doesn't care about your time frame or your, your goals or your life. Ava's got her own plans. That's true. It sounds like some of you, doesn't it? She um, came a week early when she... Like the first baby in generations to come yeah. early, just to like screw up our plans for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, she did. I, I was not able to see Avengers. Seriously, parenthood I I struggles. Left a lot of stuff not done on the journey. Yeah, and this next picture is when we met Prince Charming in Disney World when they are older. It's one of the few pictures that everyone in our family is smiling, namely the girls. Because they look just grumpy in every picture. That is true. It really is like true. Like the ice cream picture? Like the ice cream picture. Yeah. Yeah. They're eating ice cream at Disney World and Mickey they look Mouse grumpy. Mickey Mouse shaped ice cream. Now they weren't grumpy. That's just how every picture turned out. They're, they're probably grumpy like Kate most of the time. Oh, we got to talk about grumpy because that this picture. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pay for that comment later. And so this is... A pretty up-to-date picture, but this is all of us now. It's like, over a year ago. Oh, it's over a year ago. It's okay. They know what they look like. So, that is me, Mr. Two years ago. Jane and Ava, and that is our family. So, Kate wants to tell you an embarrassing story about I me. I have embarrassing you stories. You do? What? I do, but I'm not telling your first graders. So. Oh, no. You can make a video of parents only later um so earlier in my first video i mentioned that i'm pretty much the same person that i was back then and kate either misunderstood me or i said it wrong it might have been a mistake apparently she's off. telling so kate wants to tell you just exactly what i said wrong in the first video so that you can clearly understand what is different i think the miscommunication was about your cross country coach and you running the race, and you meant to mean that you were the same person as in you were still competitive. I'm very competitive. But the way it came across was you were the same person of you were not a rule follower. And to an extent, you don't like I rules. I love so. rules, you, class. I love rules. You love rules when you make rules. But I think you've, you've matured a lot. So. My very good friend grew up with Dave, Mr. DeGatti. I forget I'm supposed to call you that. That's okay. And she always says that that I'm the reason Dave's still alive because I, I gave him uh, a sense of maturity and time to grow up. But I keep teasing Dave over and over and over again because he's not that, that teenager, especially now that we are parents. Could not he is pay more, me to be that no. ever again. <laughs> he is more and more becoming his father every single day. And I was adopted. No, you weren't. I really was. <laughs> nope. 
So we found this picture when we were looking for pictures for everyone else. And I was like, oh, you got to show that because that's who you are now. You are a rule follower who hopes that, who wants other people to get in line and do what they're supposed to do at the right time and the wisdom. Yeah, but I don't like to do that myself. No, but you need to. That's true. So what, be, before we close, the last thing Kate this said. It's a long video. It oh is gosh. a long video. I wonder if the are kids really are still listening. Pro maybe. I don't know. Fast forward to the end. Maybe like three are still watching. Um, this is how much Dave loves Ohio now, though. This is his favorite whatever. mug. It's a big cup, and I get to drink a he lot of fancy water time. and iced tea out of it. It's you know how I like my iced tea. I still have an Ed Soda. Still have an Ed Soda. Um, so what Kate told me, and you'll appreciate this class, she said that when my coach yelled at me for running a race, she was like, you would yell at your class for doing so much less because you hate it when people don't follow your rules. And I was like, that's true. Mm -hmm. So um, feel free to send me emails about what rules you hate in class because I totally do hate following rules myself, but I make you follow rules. Because like I say, sometimes we got to follow rules even when we don't want to, right? Well, we need order. Yeah. You need order. I do need order. I hate this being without order. He misses so. you guys so much. I do. Every day when he's working, he's like, I wish I could just be in the classroom with them. It's true. I could yell at you a lot more. That's that's really why I'm just mean. Mr. Serious. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to say before I go? Um, no, that's it. Just have a great summer. Mr. Degatti has really enjoyed teaching your class. He's come home with stories about all of you and to like he does that thing where he's laughing while he tells them and he can't really talk and tell the story. It's true. And like how I was with that poop story in yeah. the last video. It's um, very true. So and he's enjoyed having all parents, he's enjoyed having all your students and he's enjoyed his interactions with you too. And have a great summer. Um I think you'll be checking in randomly on your email, but I will. I think, yeah. I get bored. Summer, summer is hard for Mr. Degatti outside the classroom because he just needs you guys so much more than you realize. I do. Like, this this break hasn't been easy. It's not a break break, I know, but it... Lots of cookies. This change has not been easy on Mr. Degatti either. So, so. he's been teaching our kids as well. I just do tech support. So, I'm going to put you on the spot before I go. Oh, great. Yep. I can delete this. I'll do it again. <laughs> nope, we're not doing it. <laughs> If you could describe me as one word as a teacher, what would it be? I got her. <laughs> well, my first instinct is hard, but like you're not, but you're fair. Those are boring words. And they are boring words, but they're true, yeah. man. I mean, the amount of, of challenges and stuff you send home, that sounds exhausting to me. I am not teacher material. Um, she loves children. I do. I love mine. <laughs> Some of their friends. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I would describe you as a teacher because I don't see you as a teacher. I, I do tell them sometimes, like, don't use your teacher voice with me. I'm not one of your students. I do. I've done that too many times. Yes. And I have to catch myself. Yes. Because it's, it's better if he catches it before I do. Yep. This is still a really long video. That's Are okay. we done now? <laughs> yeah, we can be done. She doesn't like to talk. Well, guys, thank you so much for having a great year with me. I've enjoyed almost all of it, but you'll see in this upcoming week's assignments, in the beginning of the year, I thought you guys were crazy. I actually told Miss Gaddy here that I wasn't sure if you guys would be able to learn as much as I thought you needed to, and you learned even more. So, Oh my gosh, when he does your vocab things, it's ridiculous. He gets all excited at dinner. I like, do. I get really excited. And he tells about how you who's who's doing this and who's doing well and like how you're gonna all smear whipped cream in his face and it's like, terrible. He's yeah, so excited. And every day I have to tell him no Spider Man. Yes, no Spider Man. No Spider Man. On that note, with great power comes great responsibility. Have watch Spider Man too, guys. It's a great Don't watch movie. That. Just have a good great summer. movie.